Hey guys, Tom Coyle here for Sound Effects Premiere in Ormskirk, back with another demo. This time of this beautiful and fantastic sounding amplifier from Orange, new for 2017. This is the Rocker 32, and it's a bit of a beast. It just sounds absolutely fantastic. And it's got some fairly unique features on board as well, which we'll get into shortly. So the amp itself is a two channel affair with two one by 10 inch speakers, voice of the world speakers, uh, unique to this combo. Really, really great um, kind of look here. We've got this classic orange vinyl, and then we've got the blonde grill on the front with the orange logos. Um, I've mic'd up the right hand speaker for now with a Royer R121 to give you an idea of the sound. The actual amp itself is incredibly easy to use. You've got the two channels, as I say, you've got the natural channel just here. This has one control just the volume control. And you might think that's a little bit limiting, but in actual fact, Orange have voiced it to sound as good as possible with a massive array of different guitars, and it really does sound phenomenal, and will crunch up pretty nicely as well. Then we've got our dirty channel. Um, we've got gain, then we've got three band EQ, bass, middle, treble, and our volume. And then the usual kind of tricks that Orange do with power switching. So we've got half and full mode. So we've got full 30 watts, which is 15 per side to give you 30, or we can switch that down to half power at 15 watts, which is seven and a half watts per side to give you full 15. Very cool indeed. Um, the tubes involved here, we've got four preamp tubes, four 12X7s or ECC 83s, and we've got a pair of ECC 81s for the tube buffered effects loop. And the reason we've got two of those, that might seem a bit strange, normally you only have one, is because this is a fully featured stereo effects loop, which gives us some super cool options in terms of setup. Now you could run, for instance, just a standard mono effects loop just by using the left uh, send and left return, or you could run a full stereo effects loop, which is what I'm gonna show you later. I'm gonna mic up both sides of the cab and uh, pan them hard left and right. So you'd come out of the um, output, the, the send, and come back in in stereo using the left and right. And the left and right are actually hardwired to each speaker, so you get a proper stereo pan. And they've actually added some other tweaks to the amplifier to make that spread feel wider than it actually is, because it's not a particularly wide or big amp, um, so having that extra spread is really useful. Or you could run a wet dry setup where you come out of the left output to your pedal and return just to the right. So the left speaker is getting just the dry signal, okay, and then the right speaker is getting your affected signal. And that means that the speakers are not trying to do two things at once. They're both, one is operating your dry signal, the other one's operating your wet signal. So you get a really, really great sound. And that's a way a lot of guitar players like to run, but you generally need two amplifiers for it. In this instance, you can do that with just one amplifier. And very, very nice amp it is too. Very cool. Um, the output tubes, you've got um, four EL84s in there to give you that full 30 watts and that classic British character. So, let's have a listen to how it sounds. Um, we'll start with the natural channel. Now for the natural channel, um, we're in full 30 watt mode. So I've got the power on full. Um, you can see we've selected the natural channel here. This is foot switchable, by the way, this uh, select ch channel selector using a foot switch input on the back. Um, our volume here is pretty low, um, although the amp is incredibly loud in the room, and I'm using this Music Man Cutlass guitar. Let's start on position four for that kind of uh, out of phasey in between sound, and we get this. <laughs> So, beautifully crystal clean dynamic 
clean tone, or natural as they call it. Really responsive with a very crisp high end. And because this is the 2x12 version, they also do the Rocker 15, which is a one, sorry, 2x12, 2x10. Uh, they also do the Rocker 15, which is a 1x10. This has got that bottom thump that you expect from a slightly bigger combo. So, very, very nice indeed. Now, as we crank this, let's drop down to half power because we don't have master volume here for this particular channel, we can get a little bit more grit into our clean tone. Now I can't drive this too hard because I am gonna clip the front end of my um, mic or my preamp here that the Roy has plugged into. Um, but if we were to push that further, we would get into crunch territory and it's beautiful, beautiful sound. But even in half power mode, this is a true gigging amplifier to compete with drummers. It's very, very loud indeed, and you can get that nice crunch going on um, if you drive that even harder. So, really, really great sounding natural channel. Um, again, voiced for multiple guitars, so if you've got a darker guitar, it's still gonna sound really great. Now, if we switch now to the dirty channel, we're in half power mode. Now, let's set the gain lower and the volume higher. We'll just have the EQ control set fairly flat here. So somewhere in the middle, and we get this. Now that's great, because that is basically more clean. So if you need a different voiced clean, let's just crank the volume. Very cool, but now of course you've got an EQ section as well. So we can start to crank the mids, crank the bass, drop the treble out. So that's really, really useful. Now let's bring those back to fairly flat. Let's increase the gain, drop the volume down because again, I don't want to go deaf. This is such a loud amplifier. Gorgeous, very, very nice woody kind of crunchy tones. Very easy to play, compresses beautifully as you'd expect with a nice sort of cranked tube amp. Sounds amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. So if we drive this harder, get a little bit of noise, but you'd expect that. Let's switch down to the bridge pickup. So much fun, absolutely amazing. So let's just play with the EQ controls a little bit. Let's scoot the mids, bring the treble down, bring the bass up. What a phenomenal sounding thing. Now, you've still not heard the effects loop. And again, this is not your average effects loop. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna mic up the other side with an SM57 so you can hear kind of, you know, the, the Roy around the SM57. I'm gonna pan them hard left and right, and I'm gonna stick a stereo delay and reverb into the effects loop and let you hear what's going on. Now that was what you heard in the intro as well, but that was only the Roy that you heard. So now let's hear that in stereo.
Okay, there you have it guys, the incredible Rocker 32 from Orange with its fantastic stereo effects loop. So, hope you enjoyed that guys. My name's Tom Quayle. As ever, check out Sound Effects Premiere online and uh, you know, you can get one of these for yourself. So, I'll see you next time guys. Bye-bye.